Uh, good morning. I'm Dan Noon. I'm the CEO of G2 Goldfields. Uh, we trade under the ticker symbol GTWO on the TSX and GUY GF on the uh, OTC QX. Uh, we explore in Guyana. We have a discovery down there, a high grade discovery in um, the CUNY district in Guyana. Uh, initial resource is 1.2 million at nine grams. We've been drilling away for 18 months post that. We'll have an updated uh, MRE out in the first quarter of 2024. And this morning we put out some more high grade results, uh, which we can talk about, but also generally talk about today about where the company's going. Exactly. Uh, Dan, good to see you, mate. Um, yeah, resource, updated resource coming in and in Q1. What else is super high grade uh, holes? Uh, saw the headlines this morning. Uh, wow. Were you expecting yeah, well, that? In, in, in these high grade uh, you know, green stone systems, you, you get these jewelry boxes every now and again, and they're not indicative of the whole system. Um, but basically, they do occur, and you certainly don't fall into the resource as as expanding things, but we just know that there. Uh, more importantly, was probably the four other holes uh, hits that we had, like you know, five at fifty seven grams and uh, nine layers at thirteen grams, which are indicative of the system, uh, the high grade. Certainly on shear five, where we're chasing that down, and we're chasing the plus ounce material in that high grade shoot there, and also the two shoots in shear three. Uh, which are high grade like that. So once we get beneath what we consider to be open pit levels, uh, we're targeting the feeder zones, uh, which uh, are feeding the gold into a more disseminated system at surface, but it's high grade depth, and that's really what makes the economics of the system so attractive. Right, and, and if you don't mind, I just want to spend a, a little bit of time on that one. Okay, we've seen this um, happen elsewhere with you know newfound gold. We've seen it with the Arnstein Minerals, that Corora, and also they find these high grade, super high grade jewelry boxes, um, but some people like to think, well, that's the company maker. You're being a little bit more conservative about it, saying they're nice to have, but they're not where the economics lie. So could you expand on that for a little bit for me? Yeah, well, basically, I mean, in general, for mining, you need mining width and you need continuity. And so and we have that like our main zone in general, she is seen five. Uh, but these jewelry boxes, they're, they're, the, they're the juice. And they're, they're lovely to have. And every now and again, you run into those and you'll see in quarterly reports or annuals, Companies will have little notes saying, ah, the Graves Highland was expected because we hit one of these jewelry boxes. And that's okay. It's fantastic. And you'll get it one every now and again. But that's not what makes it the deposit or the company. So uh, we have to put them out. We draw them. <laughs> but then it, it, it's, a, it's a distraction away from the real event here, which is you know, the initial resource was nine grams a ton. And in that, the average grade of the quartz vein was half an ounce. Uh, as we drill deeper and we're targeting the higher grade, the average grade of the quartz veining at the moment is 22 grams. That'll be diluted down to whatever that grade comes out in the next MRE. But the grade's getting higher in the system uh, because we're targeting higher grade mineralization. It's a function of that. And um, and that's what really makes the deposit, and that's why it's so attractive. It is one of these classic old-school high-grade green stain deposits that comes to surface. So it's 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 it's, it's exciting. <laughs> we're definitely excited about it. It, 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 it is exciting, but your message is uh, consistency, continuity uh, is yep. king, uh, as well as great. Um, and that's that's where you're going to be chasing after. Now, you've got five drills churning out the OCO um, project through to, to when? When, when, when do, when's the kind of cutoff for the um, upgraded resource? Uh, that'll probably cut off at uh, for Christmas. In Guyana, we still have that Christmas break, and so it'll be three weeks. Uh, but then they'll get going again the second week of January. So that five, those five rigs will keep going. Two of them at the moment are drilling down uh, at, at, to depth at um, Oko Main Zone. Another one on the Gani Zone, which is still sort of uh, early. Well, it's getting more advanced, but uh, certainly Gani South is early stages, at the high grade down there. And um, we've got two rigs out drilling on the exploration targets. We still have 20 kilometres of strike length of the system. And... Um, we're looking to make more discoveries. So we have two rigs out there constantly uh, drilling new targets and, and a lot of dust as you drill when you do that. But every now and again, we make discoveries too. So for us, that's the exciting thing, uh, as well as you know, just keeping spanning the resource that we already have at OK Main Zone in Gannick. Okay, well, Brittle, like, I, I literally just wanted to cast up on that and sort of see how you're going to be treating this, you know, ex exceptional uh, results that you're seeing. Um, and um, also 
what to look forward uh, to next year. Over and above the resource, what, what are what are we uh, focusing on? Oh, basically, we're well, new discoveries. So for us, over that 20 kilometres, I mean, we've been doing a lot of soil sampling and trenching over Oko Northwest, where we're drilling currently. Uh, Tracy, back up to Aramu, which was the original mine back in the early 1900s, because now we think we understand the structural controls up there. So we think we've got a lot of uh, discoveries to be making here. Um and, and discoveries is what adds value, always has in the mining industry. And so that's our focus. Okay. Uh, Dan, I appreciate the update. I know you're busy and um, you're heading up to site soon as well, aren't you? I'm going there next week for the close up before Christmas. So it's been a good year for the guys. We'll have a little celebration at the end of the year. And um, yeah, and then we'll back into it in the second week of January.